And I, would you agree that that's no? I do think I do think she has less patience than what Mr. Ford has shown, and for the examples that Rod Wood gave, uh, based on the firings that have happened under her watch. I I would imagine if if this upcoming season ends up being six and ten or worse, that that patience will run out, and that I would I would think it'd be hard to be able to keep. Do you think seven and nine could she could keep him in place at seven and nine? I mean, it's hard to have the hard and fast rule there. I mean, obviously there are qualifiers in there and caveats in there. I I think depends on okay if Stafford's hurt, we can understand where the team would be less than five hundred. I would get I would totally understand that, and I don't know if it'd be fair to say oh we got to move on because the guy got hurt and you guys lost and didn't live up to the expectation. But if all things you know, if they're healthy and a team doesn't perform as well as they did last year, I mean, if you see regression, go ahead and nip it in the bud and say, no, this isn't working. You got to go. Uh, now, does that mean to the head coach, to the general manager, to both? I don't know. I feel like the lowest number of wins they can have where there would also have to be some extenuating circumstances. So rash of injuries, Start out slow, finish the season hot, beat some really good teams that are playing for something at the end. Something. They got to be at eight and eight minimum. Minimum. And that's again, if it's eight and eight, but it's a fluttering minute eight, eight and eight where nothing looks different, I think an owner that doesn't have as much patience demands changes. And. Well, we've seen owners, we, we've seen uh, coaches fired after one season. Yeah. It's happened a lot, uh, seemingly. It feels like Not it's really happened. in Detroit, but. No, but it seems like it's happened a lot in the NFL uh, over the last 20 years or whatever, but, or maybe not a lot, but it's definitely ha- it happened f- several times I can think of. But the, I don't know if you can, I, it's it's hard to say that. I mean, two years. Two years with Patricia, if there's you don't see any difference in a product on the field, maybe the record looks a little bit different, but you're not seeing any progression in players. I could I see her being impatient? Yeah, I can. And I do think the fact that she's 93 has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Yep. Then the other question we had for people is do you approve of the job that she has? done slash the you know, the organization that she has overseen since she's taken over five seasons since Martha took over as principal owner 42 and 38 two playoff appearances two coaches have been fired and under her watch Quinn and Patricia were brought in from the Patriots we asked people in a Twitter poll for the approval rating and how we do this every basically do you approve of the job she's doing what do you think the approval rating is right now for Martha Ford as Lions owner. Because honestly, any time we bring up, and this goes back, whew, let's see, how long have I been doing talk radio? I'm going to be pushing 30 years here soon. When the Lions come up as a topic, you can always count on they're not going to win until the Ford sell the team. That right. text, that tweet, yep. that fax back in the day yep. was invariably going to come. But Martha's a different owner than Mr. Ford was. I think clearly she's different. So what do you think? I don't her know if she's better rating? or not, but she's definitely dinner. What do you think her approval rating is? From the fans, I, I you're talking Lions, you're talking football, and, and this fan base is, is is impatient. So I would imagine it's less than 50%. I'll say her approval rating is like 40, 42%. Doc. It's 45% right now. With We're approaching 1,000 votes. You can vote on Twitter at Dungator971. 248-539-9797. So two things here. What is the definition of a season where an owner who doesn't have the patience makes changes this coming year? And do you approve of the Lions under Martha Ford? It's def- I, I would say it's been better because there does seem to be a sense of urgency, but that doesn't mean that it's great. It's Carson Anderson. You heard the soundbite. Also, we'll give you the royal baby name. What do they name that little brat? We'll get to that at 1218. 971 the ticket.